about eosinophilic granuloma complex. 今日の復習は、抗酸急性肉芽腫症候群についてです。Um, eosinophilic granuloma complex is common in cats. In cats. But also occurs in dogs and horses. Generally, manifests itself in one of three ways an ulcer, plaque, a granuloma. So, eosinophilic ulcer ulcer, indolent and rodent ulcer usually appear on, on the lip. Without a tissue or peripheral eosinophilia. Usually on the, appears on the lips. Without tissue or eosinophilia. Eosinophilic plaques often appear on the abdomen or medial thigh. Tissue eosinia is the rule, and peripheral eosinophilia is common. And these are very pruritic. So. Eosinophilia is the rule, and peripheral eosinophilia is common too. Eosinophilic granulomas may appear on the head or foot pad as a linear granuloma on the caudal thigh and elsewhere. Or thought. A linear lesion is something to uh, look for when you think in eosinophilic granulomas. And these lesions may be caused by hypersensitivity disorders. Allergic ideology should be investigated. Should be investigated. Kou san kyu sen niku ga shu shou kou gun wa neko de yoku mirare rin desu ga inu to uma de mo mirare de koto ga arimasu. De kai yo, kou san kyu sen mutsu sen kai yo wa kuchibiru no ue ni deki yasu ku. え血液及び組織の抗酸急性増殖過症は見られないことが多いです。抗酸急性プラークは腹部や大腿部内側に見られやすく、組織の抗酸急性増加症が見られ、血液の抗酸急増加症もよく見られます。抗酸急性肉芽腫は顔面や肉球に見られ、えー、線状に様々なところに線状に原曲性の病変を作ります。で、抗酸あこのような症状は
過敏反応によって起きている可能性がありアレルギー疾患がないかどうかを確認する必要があります。Dietary parasitic is not found, lesions are usually treated with corticosteroids, such as. Well, hold on. So, no dietary. Ramsell, in difficult cases. 食事性寄生、寄生虫性の病院がないと確認できれば、コルチコイドでの治療を行います。シクロスポリンなどが用いられます。So that was a quick review of eosinophilic granuloma complex.